Donald Trump already has multiple declared primary opponents in this Republican presidential cycle, but they might not be coming to a state near you because multiple Republican state parties, this is South Carolina, Nevada, Arizona, and Kansas are already expecting to finalize a process that will cancel their primaries and caucuses. And so even though there are multiple choices on the Republican side or multiple who might qualify, there is not going to be a choice in those states. And those cancellations stem in part from months of behind the scenes maneuvering by the Trump campaign. With aides working to ensure total control of the party machinery, installing staunch loyalists at state parties while eliminating potential detractors. The aim, Trump officials have long said, is to smooth the path to the president's renomination and ensure he doesn't face the kind of internal opposition that hampered former President George H.W. Bush in his failed 1992 reelection campaign. Uh, Trump aides say that they have supported the cancellations, but stress that each case was initiated by state party officials. Mm. So we're, we're very, we're very happy about this. But like that, Joe did that. Joe, Joe was it great. Me. It wasn't my systematic dismantling of any potential opposition that could exist. <laughs> it was just Joe showed up. Mm-hmm. Pa pow! Now there is no primary. You know, sometimes there you're just no in opposition. sync with another person. It's a smart move. It's Mm -hmm. good work if you can get it. It Mm -hmm. kind of is counter to the democratic process. Um, But this is it. I mean, this is one of those things that, like, the way that the democ that the party apparatuses are set up is that they are supposed to, in many ways, work as a counterbalance to runaway public opinion. Mm -hmm. Um, And so they just need to hit this sweet spot of like being like, are we sure we want to do this? But not too much of like, hey, we're gonna cancel primaries so you can't oppose us. Mm -hmm. To me, if this happened in the Democratic Party, like people would lose it the way they lost it last Mm -hmm. time when it was revealed that like the super delegate count was out of control. Mm -hmm. Well, here's the thing. So uh, I'm not ready to say that it has happened to the extent that it is looking like it will happen this time around. Um, But one of the reasons that like all the headlines this morning are, and and, it, and this isn't necessarily wrong. All the headlines are uh, GOP defending soft Trump re-election or something like that. It's like, oh God, he might not win. He might get taken down by Joe Walsh, so let's cancel the primaries. I don't think that that's likely to happen. But also, they are right when they come out and say that some other primaries and caucuses have been canceled before. And and I've read a bunch of articles. I was trying to find systematically how many there have been, and there doesn't seem to be much centralized information about this. But there was like there was one state. um, Let's see, in so South Carolina skipped its 1996 and 2012 Democratic contests. Uh, let's see, uh, South Carolina also didn't do one in 1984 for Ronald Reagan. It seems like South Carolina just doesn't like holding elections. But so it has technically happened before. It's just gonna be interesting to see, is it a case where it's like one state isn't you know, up for it? Or is it 20 states are not gonna have We'll see practice. what happens of the ones that are in this conversation. We got South Carolina, Nevada, Arizona, and Kansas. He won three of those already. Mm-hmm. Um, he won, he lost Kansas? Mm-hmm. Uh, to Marco Rubio, I think. Really? I think it was wow. Rubio, but he lost Kansas. Ooh, he lost that one. Mm-hmm. Um, he won Nevada. Nevada is the one that's like kind of the bellwether. It's an early state. It is proportional, so it's mm-hmm. not like winner take all. And so he won for like fourteen of those delegates, and I think Rubio, who was the second in finish, whoever the second finisher was, won like seven. Mm-hmm. Um, but what they want is a very streamlined path for their new leader. And it's pretty funny because um, a lot of this is in reaction to like what they had with Barry Goldwater, who was like actually very similar in many ways to Trump. When Barry Goldwater won the, the nomination for the Republicans, it ended up being like a ridiculously embarrassing landslide. It was mm-hmm. one of those things where they looked at it and said, the Republican Party let its stupid voters choose this time. Mm-hmm. And the stupid voters chose a crazy like populist demagogue who ended up costing us big. But now the crazy populist demagogue is their entire party identity mm-hmm. and it ended up winning them the election. It's actually funny cuz like the Democrats are the ones who typically historically are the ones who let their party apparatus run wild and do way mm-hmm. too much in terms of controlling who gets the nomination. Yeah. It resulted in like riots in Chicago in the mm-hmm. 60s 
and the giant, you know, foobar situation with Debbie Wasserman Schultz, superdelegates, yeah. and Hillary Clinton. Yeah, no, thankfully the superdelegates there has been reformed there. They're not totally gone, but it, it should be less of a concern. We'll, we'll have to see that the biggest effect that it's ever had, because remember, the superdelegates have never actually swung an election. But the media reporting on it long before they ever have any influence, before any votes are cast. That could still happen. And those are similar tactics to say that to have superdelegates essentially be predetermined in, in terms of who they are going to vote for mm -hmm. allows the, um, the media to point to a scoreboard and say, like, no, Hillary's already got this. Yeah, exactly. You don't, and it's a version of you don't need to hold this election. Yeah. It's already in the bag. Exactly. It's just this move by the GOP is way more explicit. Yeah, the, the thing that's weird about this though. Is so we've got some quotes from Joe Walsh and Bill Weld about how frustrated they are about this. Uh, we'll, we'll see if we get to. It. I don't really care, um, <laughs> but it's uh, it's like you, you're not gonna. You, you might not even get on some of these. Bill Weld probably will, but Joe Walsh isn't even gonna get on some of the ballots if there were ballots to be gotten on. And even if you had the contests, one important thing to bear in mind: a difference between Republican primaries or the primary process, because it includes caucuses too. And the Democratic side is, and this is not universal, but for the most part, Democratic contests are proportional and Republican contests are winner take all. Which means that if Joe Walsh comes in and gets five or 10 or 15% of the vote, that means nothing. It means nothing in most of these states. It doesn't take away one vote from Donald Trump. It, you could say, look, he got a percentage, maybe that'll get some bad media for Trump, but it doesn't actually hurt his numbers in terms of getting elected. But they just want to tell Walsh and Weld to go away, mm -hmm. and they want to quash any potential reason they can way they can justify sticking around. Mm -hmm. So they're saying, "What are you going to do? You're going to run in what contest? We're not having contests. Yeah. Why are you here?" Yeah, you should definitely have the primaries. You should definitely have the caucuses. If you're president, you should be confident that you can win one of these. Um, but if they had them, I, I don't think that he would lose. What happened to heavy anyway. vetting, man? Exactly. The Republicans aren't going to vet anyone. Exactly. They, they should have. If, it, if he's so strong, that's the thing. Is this is just sounds. This is a way to seem strong mm -hmm. that is actually quite weak. Exactly. This is the weakest you can possibly be. This is someone no, saying no. No. It can get just slightly weaker, which it probably will tomorrow or the next day when all of this reporting and it's been all over the place. Donald Trump tweets about it. And right. claims that it's not happening and it's not to protect him. But the truth is, it is so weak when two people who you say you're so much stronger than say, mm -hmm. "Hey, let's play. Mm -hmm. Let's go. Let's take it to the park right now and you know shoot some hoops." Yeah. And you're like, "No, no, no. I'm. I listen. I I can't. I'm." <laughs> Listen, uh, the the ref said the game can't happen. Park's been canceled. Yeah, park got canceled. <laughs> exactly. Thank you for watching this clip from the Damage Report. For more content from the show and access to TYT Network members only exclusives, go to tyt.com slash Brooke. Wait, no, it's tyt.com slash John. Go to tyt.com slash John to sign up.